Hey everybody! Today's video is going to be on rebuilding the uh, two-piece drive shaft for my 96 Dodge Ram 3500. Um, it's pretty plain Jane, but we'll try to make it as entertaining as possible. And I cannot get this camera straight. Okay. Anyway, on with the show. So here's what the rest of my carrier bearing look like. The bearing itself might be okay, but the bushing's ripped to crap. And the rubber boots on some of the uh, U-joints are tore up. There's that one. Which generally happens right before they start destroying themselves, so... I'm gonna start cleaning things up and getting ready for new parts. Alright guys, so um, we're in the process of uh, swapping out these U-joints on my uh, two-piece drive shaft. And even using my press, I can get it to its max point where it binds, but the other cup will not fall out. I've even flipped this back over and pushed them the other way, still won't come out. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take the grinder, cut this guy without damaging either half. So that's where we're at now. So because the uh, U-joints on this truck are so big, even a brand new cutting disc on a four and a half inch grinder is not big enough to get all the way through. So I had to just cut it as far as I can and smack it with a hammer a couple of times to break off the tab that was left. But I'm one sixth of the way where I need to be. Yay. So this is my bearing splitter. Uh, not exactly what this is made for, but I'm hoping it's going to be enough to pull off what's left of that uh, carrier bearing. So we'll find out here in a sec. I broke it. Since that was a fail, we're going to go with the old school beat it off with a hammer.
There's like five pieces for the carrier ring. Sweet. They're off. Uh. I recorded this footage a little while back and for some reason I can't find the video from where we started pressing on that one U-joint to pretty much finishing the project. So I'll kind of try to walk you through a little bit of it. I apologize. But um, also my shop is a complete wreck. Also apologize. So this is the uh, drive shaft that we beat the carrier bearing off of. This is the new carrier bearing in place. And all I did was I uh, went and bought this 10 inch long, uh, inch and a half PVC or uh, galvanized steel pipe with a metal end cap. And I got lucky to get one of the older ones that was flat. But uh, we put it under the, the press over there and tried to start pressing it that way but it was a a light enough well let's see how do i say this the press isn't heavy enough to be able to do that so we ended up just tapping it on with a hammer but it was really easy and it went on really smooth we didn't have to abuse it or beat it on really hard so that went on perfectly i mean this was like 10 bucks that ace but I'm sure I'll probably use it for other things again. And then the other part was installing the uh, the three separate U-joints. And what we did was we press them in like I showed in that clip to where the top one was just the right level to put the snap ring in. And then we flip it over and press the other side in and do the same thing. Now in the process of that, it does tighten up on the side we put in first a little bit and the snap ring will push up just a hair so then we just took a three quarter inch socket you know basically like this obviously this isn't the three quarter but we put it in there because it's just the right size to fit inside that gap just give it a tap everything flattens out and then we repeat that this side this side two over there and one over there because the other side is going to be bolting into the rear end i just have that tape on there to hold the cups in place um the only thing different about this uh opposed to when it came off the truck is the fact that it had a gear vendor on the truck and with that it also had a bolt on yoke that was part of the gear vendor but since we're taking that out and replacing it with a transfer case I bought this yoke brand new this is going to slip into the transfer case when we get to putting it in and another thing with the gear vendor was they had actually had you know a shop machine the end of the drive shaft to change it from the uh, 41 I want to say 4140 U joints that were in there to 13 sorry 1440 to 1350s so i had to find a special u-joint out there that went from 1350 to 1440 or 1410 i'm sorry i'll look that up and put it on the screen so two of them are the factory spicer 1410s and then this one is a 1350 to 1410 non-greasable so that they're stronger um, the only thing that's not done now other than putting it in the truck is these two ends are made to slip together once uh, you go to put everything in there and they have this little rubber dust boot keeps uh, grease in there 
and keeps dirt and grime and yuck out. I still have to clean this out. It's not weathered or rotting or coming apart at all, so I figured I'm just going to clean it up and reuse it. Um, how this works is it has a little indentation here that it slips over on this side, and then this side is a lot smaller. You fit it over this geared end, and then it has a clamp to go on there. And I just got a kit off of eBay, or I'm sorry, uh, Amazon for, I think it was about 20 bucks for the special pliers and the ring. So we should be good to go on that one. Um, I don't think there's any reason to follow up with that, you know, wait till we get it in the truck, because this will be one of the last things to go back in the truck once the transmission's finished being rebuilt. So thank you for watching. Uh, I just want to say, you know, bless you, honestly, for sticking with me. Uh, I do the best I can with what I have, and that's not much at all. So we'll do the best we can to keep it ha keep you happy. I can't talk. We'll do the best we can to make education enjoyable or humor educational. Take it easy.